Hey guys, welcome to another video from my rucksack and I.com and from me, Alistair Down. And over here in the UK, we've just come to the end of British summertime. So the clocks went back an hour last night, so we're now getting darker and darker earlier and earlier. So I thought I'd take the opportunity just to get out here this afternoon. Um, the idea was to do fire lighting in the rain, and it was actually raining this morning, uh, but it stopped now, sun's shining. Hey, that's the way it goes. So I still call it fire lighting in the rain because the principles are exactly the same. Um, but obviously it's not raining. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for some fat wood today. As you can see, I'm in a coniferous wood um, here in Oxfordshire. And I'm just going to look for some fat wood and we'll split that down, get to the center of that so we can use that uh, to take off our fire steel and we just get a fire going. So just a short video this week guys, but hopefully something that you know you may find useful for the future. So what we've got here is a fallen spruce tree and our fat wood is going to be predominantly here at the, at the joint. So you can see this is a, a dead limb, it's dying, um, so there's no harm to the tree. So what we're going to do is just cut it nice and tight in at the knuckle and hopefully there'll be a good chunk of fat wood. Here. What we're looking for is that dark area there that you can see. That's the resin from the fat wood. And that's what we're after. That's, that's what's going to take to our fire steel and uh, give us our initial tinder for our, uh, our fire to get going. So let's get this chopped down and show, I'll show you the next step. Right, so now that we've got our limb with our fat wood here on the end, I'm just going to cut this down into smaller sections. I just use this old fallen tree here as a support just to cut this on. We can use these other bits on the fire. We can just break those down and use those. And I'll just chop these a little bit punky. Yeah, you can see that. A little bit punky, but it'll be all right. See the line, the dark line in there? That's actually the fat wood. That's where the resin is, and that's the bit that we're after because that's the bit that's gonna, gonna take nicely. But we use these ones just on the fire once we get it rolling. Right, and then this is the bit that we're really we're really after here. Bit of an awkward shape. Cut. There you can see the resin and the wood at the end there. And that's really what we're after. Right, so once we've broken it down to that stage, we've got a half here, just a bit of old bark, which was uh, just used to um, create. And what we're going to do here is just create a dust off of this resin. Use the back of our knife and just scrape down, just to create a very fine dust. And little shavings here, I don't know if you can see that on there, hopefully you can. Uh, 
I'm just using the back of my knife here, literally just to create these thin shavings. You can always use the, the front just to cut it off. I don't want to knock it everywhere there. Okay, and that's what's going to take our spark from our fire still. Okay, and that's just a dust and that's just full of resin and that'll catch nicely. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, although these are probably not the easiest, I'm just going to create some very fine feather sticks. I'll try and do it so that you can see. I'll come this way. Some very fine feather sticks. Out with the other remaining bits, just to help it on its way. It's nice and fine. Run the knife down. Don't worry if they come off, you can always pick them up and put them in. Yeah, and I'll just carry on and I'll do some more of those with the remaining bits that are here. I'm just going to take some finer shavings off. It doesn't hurt just to have a little bit of everything. The thing with fire is it's all in the preparation. The more you get ready beforehand and the more chance you've got of keeping that small flame going once that tinder takes. So you're better off doing all of this sort of thing now and then have everything ready and then you can, once it's going, it's going. Right, that should do. I'll take those bits with us as well. And what we need to do is just collect some really fine, dry, dead sticks. Starting off really thin, so thin you probably can't even see that. And then just making our way thicker and thicker and thicker. And then we can put this on top of the fatwood tinder once that's going. And then this will just help to really pick it up and get it going. And we just want some nice, some nice bundles like that and then that will just really help to get on its way before we can then put the remainder of the bigger sticks that we chopped down and put on there. Look at that, that'll do us just well. Okay, so as you can see, what I've done is I've cleared a, all of the dry leaves and things away and as usual, I've put my bed of sticks just to get the fire up off the cold, damp ground. Okay, and then I've got my fine dusting that you saw us get together with the back of my knife okay got a couple of sticks here which I'm just going to use should I need to lift it up just to get some air underneath it these are some shavings that we had earlier and then in the background I've got a mixture of uh, the smaller sticks just getting bigger and bigger and then some of the uh, the other spruce that we cut down to get the fat wood that's chopped up there ready to go so everything's in order um, everything's ready so no further ado we get the fire still and let's see if we can get this going. Doesn't always go first time. Doesn't always go second time. It's just about perseverance. Right, there we go. See, we can use these sticks just to lift it up if we need to air it. And 
this is just all very fine pine. So we didn't even need the feather sticks, did we? And then we can just add our rest of our spruce. And our feather sticks look at we didn't even use but they were there should we have needed them so that's good we can just put those on just add those in so as you can see guys it's um it's very easy to get a fire going there's so many different methods and techniques but it's nice to know different ones um, because different circumstances, different places that you find yourself. Sometimes there's birch trees, which is good, and you can use the birch tree method. Sometimes there aren't, and you're in a coniferous area, and you can collect some fatwood and use the fatwood area. You do have to be very, very careful if you have a fire. I'm going to put this one out in a minute. But you have to be very careful if you have a fire in a coniferous wood. The, the roots run very close to the ground. There's lots and lots of roots underneath there, and sometimes they can get hot catch fire you can leave thinking you've put the fire out and actually it's traveling along the resin and before you know it then the, the, the woodland is on fire so if you are going to have a, a fire in a coniferous wood then make sure that you've dug a hole you've cleared all of those roots out of the way um, or a bed of rocks and build it onto a bed of rocks whatever you've got around but just be very very careful so the fatwood method is a very very good method especially if it's pouring with rain and everything else is wet then you can just cut that down get to the center the center is always dry the resin is always there and it's very easy just to break that down scrape it off use your fire still to get it going and um, yeah your feather sticks if you use the feather stick method on top just to just to help it on its way so nice short video this week guys it's just nice to be able to get out here in the woodland uh, end of October, beginning of November, and it's still, well, I was hoping it was going to be raining, but there's blue sky out there now, it's beautiful out there now. So, enjoy your week ahead. If uh, you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you're a new viewer, then please subscribe. Many, many more videos to come. I think the next one I'll be doing will be a couple of weeks' time. There is a um, mountain, Kadir Idris, out in the south of Snowdonia. So I think I'm going to do a wild camp up there. There's a town halfway up. So I think I'm going to head over there and do a wild camp on the mountain. So that's probably going to be the next video I put up. Um, but I really appreciate all of your support. Any comments you've got, any questions, um, anything you think I should know, then please leave a comment and uh, I'll always get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but as always, Enjoy my time out here guys, I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.